hopefully Mayor Adams gets uh, sent to prison for his sexual assault when he was uh, a sergeant. He's now mayor. Uh, there's a reason why he's um, very adamant about, you know, giving the cops more money and stuff because he was one. And he knows how much they love to be corrupt and how much they love to abuse their power. Uh, him and others like him need to be put in prison for the rest of their lives. Sexual assault allegations against Mayor Eric Adams by a former police colleague. She did file a lawsuit today, and we want to warn you the details are graphic. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer is here to take us through it all. Marsha. Well, Christina Maurice, the bombshell allegations date back to 1993, but the allegations are no less jaw-dropping than when they reportedly happened three decades ago. And while the Corporation Council calls them outrageous, I have to warn you, they are pretty graphic. What's outrageous is he was allowed to sexually assault somebody and get away with it for so long because he was... We're taking another big step towards our vision for New York City. Mayor Adams had no idea this morning when he was announcing new funding for electric school buses that he was about to be hit by a suit from a former colleague that could very well throw him under the bus. A woman who worked with Adams when he was a transit cop filed suit charging the mayor with sexual assault, battery, infliction of emotional distress, gender discrimination, retaliation, and sexual harassment. It stemmed from an incident in 1993 when she says she went to him for help with an employment issue because he was president of the Guardians Association, a black police officer's organization. Among the bombshell allegations, Adams told her he would drive her home, but instead took her to a vacant lot. He told her he wanted oral sex in exchange for his help. When she refused the suit charges, defendant Adams forcibly pushed plaintiff's hand onto his erect penis, and then, after she removed her hand, masturbated himself to completion and ejaculated on her. The accusation yeah, no surprise. He was a cop. Uh, cops believe they can do whatever they want, especially the main cops who, uh, yeah, they assault their fellow lady cops a lot. And because uh, cophood is all about, you know, it's a big old men's club. So the women, uh, there is not much they can do. It's like in the military where there's a lot of rape going on of women, and anytime the women complain about it, they get punished by their uh, male sergeants and stuff. The absolutely did not happen. I don't even recall uh, who this person is. I, I've, I've never recalled even meeting them. And Right, that's what a lot of uh, sexual assaulters say. Oh, I don't know this person. Blah, blah, blah. Just because you don't remember it happening doesn't mean she doesn't. Bert remember it happening. You know, I spent my life protecting people. That was the mayor's reaction last November when the woman initially filed a notice of claim under a special New York Adult Survivors Act signed in 2022 by Governor Hochul, which provided a one-year window for people to bring lawsuits over sexual assaults that may have occurred decades ago. She filed a notice shortly before the one year was up and filed the detailed charges today. City Corporation there shouldn't be a statute, a statute of limitations on sexual assault, no matter what type of sexual assault it is. Uh, just like how there's no statute of limitations on murder. If uh, you murder somebody uh, 50 years ago, you can still be punished for it. Same thing should happen for uh, sexual assault, because there's a lot of time where people are too afraid to speak out about it or they're too young to speak out about it. Corporation Council Sylvia Hines Raddix issued a statement saying, quote, while we reviewed the complaint, the mayor fully denies these outrageous allegations and the events described here. We expect full vindication in court. The lawyer. Uh, in my opinion, anytime there is a city official that is uh, dealing with some kind of lawsuit from a, a citizen, uh, they should be required to vacate their position temporarily and lose uh, all power until their lawsuit is over and the court case is done. This way they can't use their position to try to influence people to uh, benefit themselves.
lawyer for the accuser, who now lives in Florida, declined the request for an interview. She said the woman, quote, knew that filing this lawsuit would cause her significant personal challenges, but she did so nevertheless because she believes sexual abusers must be held to account no matter who they are. Her fearlessness and quest for justice are as inspiring as they are important. Now, the woman is seeking a jury trial and is said to want millions of dollars.